Hi, I'm Katrina de Monteverdi, and I am here with Stephen Elliott Altman. How are you today? I'm doing great. Nice to meet you, Katrina. Nice to meet you, too. So he is the writer for Project Blue Book, the game on a &E Studios, and you do quite more. So please explain your background and also Project Blue Book. Uh, okay, I started out with Ancient Aliens, the game, and I wrote that for a &E Studios based on their popular television show, Ancient Aliens, um, and that was very successful. And then we knew there was another uh, uh, alien uh, investigation show coming out called Project Blue Book, so I got a script early on and I read it, and they said, do you think you can make this into a game? And I said, I'd love to make this into a game. Wow. So we started talking about it. I met with the, the staff on the show. We talked about what kind of game it could be. We all agreed it'd be a great hidden object game. And, uh, and so we we broke down the scripts, we looked at the characters, and we said, this is going to be fun, yeah. and, and, and we're going to show you the game in a moment. And we started working on the game, and we decided that we would take episodes of the television series that uh, the fans had seen and loved and take the favorite episodes and make them into cases that you as the player could play alongside the main characters in the show, like Dr. Hynek, played by Aidan Gillen, and Michael Malarkey. And so you'd be a, an investigator investigating UFO sightings with the main characters in episodes that you'd seen on the show and we're also doing um, new episodes that will be uh, original adventures with their characters from the show going on more adventures um, in, uh, investigating new actual UFO cases that happen and so as a science fiction writer dream come true to work with such an amazing uh, cast of characters and, and amazing storylines um, for Project Blue Book and we hope everybody will come and, and try out um, both Ancient Aliens the game and Project Blue Book the game which are both available online and, and both free to play. Wonderful. So, how did you even get started, um, you know, in the industry and like having to make and create games? How did you start? You know, I, I'm a I'm a science fiction author to start with, so I was writing science fiction stories, and I I started moving in circles where there were people making video games and making television movies, and I I was very lucky to to meet with a producer who said, Ah, you're a good writer. I'd I'd like to see you work on a game, and I said, I've never written a game, but I'll try it, and it's really fulfilling. You know, you write a you write a novel, and it's got a, a certain amount of an audience. But video games are booming right now, and so to be able to tell a story into a game, you you meet a, a much wider audience. You get to interact with the players on the message boards, who might say, you know, and they might say, "Hey, you spelled that wrong." <laughs> and the the beautiful part of that is it's digital, so you can go back in and fix it. Like Easy no one knows, yeah, exactly. no one knows it was yeah, ever spelled. It's only wrong. that person that notices. <laughs> if it's in a book and you did it wrong, it's there, and ah, uh, you're like ah. Oh. So, so, what's the best part about working on on a game? Um, uh, you know, these are wonderful actors, so I get to put voices. Uh, I, get, I get to write uh, storylines and have them speaking, and then the you'll, as you'll see the the puppets in the game that look like the characters are speaking them. So it's it's weird. It's like I get to be the director and where are they going to move? And we have an amazing team that's in Sweden. It's a company called Three Gates that are that are building and putting their talents into it too. So I'll write on, and say this is the the scene we're in, and then their artists go to town and they get to add their imagination in, and the whole team you know pitches in, and then we just get this beautiful project and I can't wait to show it to you. Yeah, no, I mean that's a definite like strong collaboration because you are getting so many people involved and everything to see the finished product is probably the best part, right? It's really interesting going from the television show to the and scripts to the game and then from the game to the developers who are creating and making it happen and then but the best part is when you actually see the player playing it and they're having fun and you say wow that works. That's amazing. Well thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm Katrina with ID8 TV.